I've been uh, involved in uh, many activities, as you do know, in the past as well. And um, personally, I am um, not talking about uh, these things in these terms. There is no hard or less hard issues. Uh, there are commitments, there are efforts, or there is no commitment. And when Montenegro is concerned, and I've got to say, all different sectors in the government of Montenegro, there is clear commitment. And that uh, makes our tasks uh, not being hard one. So it is very important to recognize what is needed. One is, re is recognized, there should be a proper action plan, and I think that uh, our annual national plans already showed in all these cycles that we were and still are very much aware of what it should be done, and the results are very obvious. So when it comes to the defense sector, of course, uh, it is uh, not needed from myself to do the assessment. We've got uh, external assessment from other NATO member countries, which are all the time with us and uh, which are helping us, of course, but uh, on the other side, uh, doing the assessment and evaluation, and uh, the results are very positive. So from that point, uh, that is what counts. No matter whether it's difficult or not difficult, we are able to recognize what is needed. We are able to find the ways how to implement that. We didn't have any major problems, despite the fact that you could have been expecting that. I mean, having in mind that in 2006, we didn't actually start it from the scratch, but started from some situation which wasn't uh, very advantageous from the point I, of the I final just, target. Can I just interrupt you? But I, what I wanted to say, and maybe somewhere there is a synergy in this uh, kind of thinking, is that uh, actually we could have been expecting that it will be very difficult as uh, we didn't start in from zero, but starting from some heritage which wasn't very much in favor of what our vision was. But I mean, with a very clear commitment and a very clear determination to go forward when uh, these uh, strategic foreign policy priorities are concerned, we managed. So that means that uh, uh, actually the people who uh, finally have made the choice to stay here and to work in the army forces of Montenegro, we are completely aware what the vision is and what should be their commitment. And by this time, they, I would say, did it in a way uh, which was uh, uh, definitely assessed as a positive one, and uh, the atmosphere in the armed forces, in the Ministry of Defense, is, uh, I would say, exemplar one when it comes to the implementation of reforms and of this strategic goal.